This will be a quick overview of the eMarking Assistant package. eMarking Assistant will save you time when you're grading papers or marking assignments using any version of Word for Windows. A 30-day trial version of eMarking Assistant is available from eMarking-Assistant.Baker-Evans.com eMarking Assistant provides toolbars to help you to easily create, store and insert detailed comments, provides semi-automatic marking rubrics which will record total and rescale marks, and it provides easy access to a number of features of Word that are useful when marking assignments. We'll now look quickly at an assignment. We can tell that eMarking Assistant has been loaded because the add-ins menu has a option called show eMarking Assistant toolbar. And when I click on that, two toolbars are displayed. In Word 2003, you'll go to the view toolbars menu to show that. Preparation toolbar, and that allows us to show spelling errors or invisible characters or to turn on track changes. There's a number of other features here. For example, the About and Upgrade button that allows you to see how much time you have remaining on your license. What we'll do is we'll just turn on track changes and then we'll start making some changes to the assignment. This person has misspelled the word and we can see that the comment is shown here. And we'll now look at mainly at this toolbar. These are comments that we can insert into the assignment. If I scroll down, we'll see that the comments are organized in different categories. There's a set of comments here on academic writing. And then further down is a set of comments on the APA referencing guide. We can change the position of this toolbar. I'll look at it horizontally. I could look at it horizontally or vertically. The person should probably have a reference here. So we'll just highlight part of the text and come down to academic writing, need a reference here, and we'll insert it as a comment. Comment has been inserted. This should be in capital letters or with the correct capitalization. So again, academic writing attention to detail inserted as a comment and it's been inserted as a comment. Here's an issue to do with APA references. This heading should be called references not reference list. So again I'll just insert the comment and another one here. This should be indented. Uh, second and third lines of the references should be indented. So again we will just insert that. You'll see that the comments can be quite detailed. This comment has got a picture that talks about showing invisible characters as well as uh, an example of a correctly formatted um, reference. Perhaps we want to insert a comment that we haven't pre-programmed. So I'll just highlight the area, scroll up here, select a new blank comment and insert that and then we can type it okay this is an excellent point we can also customize the comments that we've entered here we've inserted a comment this is an excellent point I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to save it for reuse And I'm just going to call it well done. If I was then to mark another assignment and I wanted to reuse that comment, I could do so very easily. Well done. And insert that, that comment. We could also save audio comments. Again, I'll just highlight a piece of text. Scroll up to new audio comment and then we will insert that as an audio comment. The voice recorder is turned on now so I can record that comment. Excellent point. You might want to post this to the discussion forum and then we could stop it. We could replay it. Excellent point. You might want to 
post this to the discussion forum. And we could re-record re that if we wanted to. I'm going to click on File Properties and then convert it to a lower quality. OK, and then we'll save it. And now the person could just click on that. Excellent point. You might want to post this to the discussion forum and then play that comment. Again, we can save comments, audio comments for, for later uh, reuse. We can click on this button to show invisible characters. And now when we scroll down, we'll see something interesting here. The person has got a paragraph mark at the end of each of the lines. That may be an indication that they have copied this from a website perhaps. We'll select a piece of text and then we'll do a Google search on it. And it's done a Google search for the piece of text that was highlighted and we can see that this is exactly the same as a piece of text on a web page. You might decide that people have reused or used a word in a strange way. We might want to look at every occurrence of the word technology. So we could highlight it and then click on this button and then it will highlight that throughout. There are many other features of eMarking Assistant. One that I'm going to talk about now is the use of marking rubrics. I've got one of these as a reusable comment. So I'm going to just click in the assignment, click on eMarking rubric. You can see the description of the comment there and we're going to insert it into the text of the assignment. What we can do now is we can, as we're marking the assignment, we can look at each of these criteria and then different performance standard. This is the first criteria and this would be a high distinction level of performance. Here is a distinction level of performance and then a credit and then a pass. If we're marking an assignment and we decide that it is this particular criteria, we can put the cursor in that and then click select and you'll see that the mark is automatically inserted into this column. We'll do another one. Select. This one's got a range. So we'll increase the range. We'll increase it to the max maximum, which is 19 points for this one. And if I try to go too far, it won't let me. We might decide to unselect that. You can see we can just press the function keys and we'll just select this one again. I'll just increase the, the marks for this one a little bit. And then we'll press F8 to add up the marks. And you can see that the marks have just been updated and there's the rescale mark. We might just come down and look at one other feature of this. If I decide to unselect that one and select this standard here, we can see that we've selected that. We can then total the marks again and you'll see that the marks change. But also we might decide to use this comment because I've just selected it. I can go up to another part of the assignment, highlight that text and then just press the F6 key again and that comment will automatically be, be inserted. This person has got 13.1 out of 20 so we will just save that assignment. So save as 13.1. The advantage of saving the mark is we can now see the original assignment and the marked version of that assignment. You'll remember that I save some comments. We can export those comments so we can use it on a different computer. So I just click on the Save button. You'll remember I created a comment saying, well done. There's the comment and there's the piece of text. These comments are just in a normal Word file that we can easily edit or move the eMarking Assistant package is available from eMarking-Assistant.Baker-Evans.com.